In this lesson, we started again um, with our solving quadratics by factoring, but now A is going to be greater than 1. So in our previous, um, again, focusing on the quadratic, AX squared plus BX plus C, where before A was just 1, where X squared was by itself. But now we're going to focus on, so like look at our examples. Notice how X squared is no longer by itself. Notice how A is greater than 1. So here, we're going to still practice identifying our always first step, which is whenever A is now greater than 1, always check for the GCF. Do we have a common factor? So like here in 1A, do we have a common factor that we can divide all three terms by? No. So when that's the case, we're going to go into and use the method that's called bottoms up. So the first step is again, GCF. So now here, we're gonna multiply the first to the last. It's like moving that three over. So here we've got x squared plus 11x, but now plus 18 from three times six. Now we factor just like before. What numbers multiply to get 18? Notice how it's a positive. So it's either a few positives or two negatives, and add to get up 11, positive 11. So that's why here we're just going to stick with two positives. And here we end up with the factors that multiply to get 18 and add to get 11, 9 and 2. So x plus 9 and x plus 2. However, we're not done. We can't just say this is my answer. Because, remember, right? We multiplied by this factor of 3. So now we need to bring it back and do the opposite of multiplication, which is divide by 3. Now simplify. Can we simplify 9 over 3? Well, yes, because 9 over 3 is 3. So x plus 3. Now here, can we simplify 2 over 3? No. So we're going to bring the bottom. So this 3 comes up to 3x then plus 2. That is the factored form. So again, always ask if there's a GCF. Then if not, we're going to go right into bottoms up where we multiply the first to the last in order to factor. But once we have the factored form, don't forget to then bring this back and divide by what we multiplied by. So like in 1b, notice how we have 2 here. Is there a GCF? Can we divide all three by a common factor? No. So we're going to go right in the bottoms up and multiply the first to the last. So here we've got x squared plus 7x minus 30. Now we can factor what multiplies to get negative 30. So we're going to have different signs here to multiply and add to get 7. 10 and 3, but positive 10 and negative 3, right? Because those are going to add to get you positive 7. But are we done? No. Remember, right? We multiplied by 2, so now what do we need to do? Divide by 2. And now simplify. Can we simplify 10 over 2? Yes. That gives you 5. Can we simplify negative 3 over 2? No. So bottom, bring that up to x minus 3. That is the factored form. So let's do one more. Do we have a common factor that we can divide all three terms by? No. So bottoms up. Here, 4 times 9. So x squared minus 15x plus 36. So now let's start factoring what numbers multiply to get a positive. So we need two positives or two negatives. And add to get negative 15. So because we're adding to get a negative 15, that means we need two negatives. So what are the factors that we're going to use here to multiply to get 36 and add to get negative 15? negative 12 and negative 3, so 12 and 3. But again, are we done? 
No, right? Because whatever we multiply by, we need to bring it back in now, divide, in this case, by four. Can we simplify negative 12 over four? Absolutely, to negative three. Now, can we simplify negative three over four? No, so bring the bottom up and four X minus three is our factored form. So now go ahead and pause the video and try these two U tries on your own. And here we go with our U tries. So again, no GCF, so we're gonna multiply, right? Our first to our last and factor X squared plus x minus 20. So here we're looking for what two numbers multiply to get negative 20, so we need different signs. And add to get one. Those factors are positive five and negative four. They're gonna add to get you your one, but are we done? No, right, because whatever you multiply by, then divide by five and simplify. 5 over 5 is 1. You cannot simplify negative 4 over 5, so you should have brought the bottom up. Make 5x minus 4. Then 1e, same thing. No common factor, multiply. So we factor x squared minus 3x minus 10. What two numbers? Multiply to get negative 10, so again, different signs and add to get negative three. Negative five and positive two. Because again, when adding, you will get negative three. But then make sure to divide by two because that's what you multiplied here. That's what your A was. Can you simplify negative five over two? No, so you should bring the bottom up. And make two X minus five. Can you simplify two over two? Yes, two X plus one. So now our next examples in U tries are focusing on our solving, which same as always, when you're solving a quadratic, it doesn't matter what the A value is or the setup. If you have a quadratic, if you have X squared, it must equal zero when solving. Again. No common factor, so we're gonna go right into bottoms up and multiply. X squared minus 24X plus 80 is equal to zero. Now we're gonna factor. What numbers multiply? You get positive 80, so either both signs are positive or negative, and add to get negative 24. So because we're adding to get a negative, they both need to be negative. So factors of 80, well, 10 and eight, but they would add to get you 18. 20 and four, but they both have to be negative. So X minus 20 and X minus four. But again, are we done? No, now divide by that A value, which here is five. So now simplify negative 20 over five, negative four. And simplify here, negative four over five, which you can't, 5x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now remember we're solving. This is equal to 0. So x minus 4 is equal to 0 and 5x minus 4 is equal to 0. So here we add 4 to both sides and x is equal to 4. We are also adding 4 here to both sides but notice we have 5x is equal to 4. So now you need to divide by 5 because Opposite of multiplication, division. So notice how here you end up with a fraction of positive four over five. So now notice two B. We are not, our quadratic equation is not equal to zero. It's equal to 17 X. So what do we have to do to get this to equal zero? Subtract 17 X from both sides. Now, can we subtract the 17 from either of these two terms? No, because they're not alike. So we'll write this as 3x squared minus 17x minus 10. Now, no common factor, so we can go right into bottoms up. And we're gonna factor x squared minus 17x minus 30. 
is equal to zero. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to get negative 30, which means we're gonna have different signs here. And add to get negative 17. So those two factors are, sorry, as I realized here, and I had to pause the video there for a minute, this was a typo, sorry about that. And we'll, I'll have this fixed when we were going through the lesson. So this is actually supposed to be 7x. So minus 7x minus 7x, there we go. So we're looking to see what adds to get negative 7x, which is negative 10 and positive three. However, are we done? No, now we need to divide by a, which was three. Bottoms up because you can't simplify. So three X minus 10 is equal to, you can simplify to one. So that means here X plus one is equal to zero. So X is equal to negative one. However, we also have three X minus 10 is equal to zero. So here we're gonna add 10 now to both sides, right? Opposite operation. Three X is now equal to 10. You're multiplying X by three, divide by three, and you get X is equal to also 10 over three. And so now here in this last problem, sorry about that, this was also needs to be changed. So we have 23X in our notes. Now, before we start factoring, what do we need to do first? Subtract 10, right? Because our quadratic has to equal zero. So now I've got 2X squared plus 23X plus 30 is equal to zero. Now we can start our bottoms up, multiply the first to last. So X squared plus 23X plus 60 is equal to zero. Now we can factor. So what numbers multiply to get positive 60 and add to get positive three. So again, both are gonna be positive 20 and three. But then what do we have to do? divide by our a value, which was two. So simplify, you get x plus 10, bottoms up, you get two x plus three, which is equal to zero. So that means here we've got x plus 10 is equal to zero, so x is equal to negative 10. Then here we've got two x plus three is equal to zero. So when you solve your two step, notice we're subtracting three from both sides. Two X is equal to negative three. And again, divide by two because that's the opposite of multiplication. And your other X value here is negative three over two. So go ahead and pause the video now and try these U tries on your own. And here we go. So again, no common factor and our quadratic is already equal to zero. So bottoms up, x squared minus 11x plus 28 is equal to zero. Now when you factored, what two numbers multiply to get you a positive but add to get negative 11. So both signs do need to be negative. Negative seven and negative four, but then Whatever you multiply by, which is A, make sure to divide by two as well. So bottom up, two X minus seven, and then simplify X minus two is equal to zero, which means here you have X minus two is equal to zero, so X is equal to positive two. You also had two X minus seven here, equal to zero. So when you solve, you should get again, notice we're changing the signs. So positive seven over two is what you should have gotten. Now two E, you are solving a quadratic, but it's not equal to zero. So you are supposed to subtract six first from both sides. Now I've got five X squared plus 23 X plus 
12 is equal to 0. Now we can do bottoms up because there is no common factor to divide. x squared plus 23x plus 60 is equal to 0. Now we can factor what numbers multiply to get 60 and add to get 23. 20 and 3. But again, whatever we multiply by, that A value now divide. So you should have divided now both by 5. You can simplify. 20 over 5 is 4. But you cannot simplify 3 over 5, so bring the bottom up. 5x plus 3 is equal to 0, which means here you have x plus 4 is equal to 0, so x is equal to negative 4. And 5x plus 3 is equal to 0, so negative 3 over 5 is your fraction value here.